Good evening, YouTube. Today, I'm going to continue with part three of my common list by example. This time, we're going to take the code that we have already made here, the project we've already made. You can see my previous attempt there. Um, and we are going to convert it into an actual project because the code we have here is actually pretty solid. You know, we've got our generic functions, we've got our conditions, you're making good use of conditions. We've got our crazy format string. But what we don't actually have is a system that we could distribute or a system that we can easily load from anywhere into another project. So let me demonstrate what I mean. I do a quick list like that and I go quick list, quick load. But what am I loading? Tic-tac-toe? No, because that doesn't exist. So the point of this video is we're going to make it. To start by deleting that. Instead, we will, would have in package tick tack toe. Right, okay, that's basically what that's all like. So we will do this with, by quick loading, a project called quick project. And we're gonna use quick project, make project, ooh. Make project tick tack toe. And we are now going to get out of this. And as you can see, it's coerced a uh, folder. In, in it, we've got a default file. However, the only thing that's in this is a uh, is this. It's just a package, so we don't need that. We'll just delete that. And in our package.lisp, this is what you saw at the top where I put in package tic-tac-toe. In here, we define like um, so what functions we want to export from other... Uh, what are you barking at, dog? From other, uh, from other libraries, and we also define like uh, what we export from this library. Um, so that will stay as it as is. However, personally, I like to put all my source code into a folder called source. So we'll do that, and then we'll open the ASD and do sly. Get rid of this. YouTube's tic-tac-toe. Now, we're GPL3 or something like that. Uh, now, because I like to have mine in source, we'll do path name source. Now, each file by default lisp, you don't have to write them like this because dot lisp is appended automatically. Uh, however, obviously the tic-tac-toe doesn't exist. But we are going to split ours out into classes and conditions, and then tic-tac-toe. And we also need another one called depends on, which is where you specify the libraries that you use. So string, we're gonna use hunch and toot. We're gonna use, L uh, no we're not, we're gonna use spinneret. And we're going to use script. Now, let me just go into here, go to here, Put that in there, put that in there. Now we need to create a document, classes and conditions.lisp. Now in here, we are going to take all of our conditions and we're gonna put them in classes and conditions, not forgetting to tell it what package it's in close this, uh, yep, save it, and then, oh, it saved this one, didn't it? Yes, that's what it was telling me. Um, and in our package, the only thing we need to export is play tic-tac-toe, isn't it? So, export play tic-tac-toe, and let's get rid of that. And now, here we have our ASD, so quick, we're gonna register our local projects. I'm gonna do quick, quick load, tic tac toe, and now we're gonna do tic tac toe, play tic tac toe. Ooh. Ah, we actually also have to do gen board. You can just recompile that, and uh, 
it should have boom package and now we can go into any and go into any program and we can quick load our tic-tac-toe or we can have it as a dependency put it on uh, github and have like someone zach put it in quick list or whatever we don't not with this not this uh silly little thing we have here but what i have given you is a sort of a precursor as to where we are going so you know we've got hunch and two web server Spinneret HTML generation, Pren script, JavaScript generation. So I guess you can only guess where we are going. Now let me just quickly explain what export is doing. So you see, you see how we uh, only have to use a single uh, colon here. Well, if we had, you know, we got all player p here which is clearly not defined but if we do tic tac toe all player p now it is defined so the export is making it external to a package which means you don't have to use double colon so as you i mean you kind of get the gist that from lisp from common lisp it's a very open language there isn't that much encapsulation like uh, in theory uh packages encapsulate things but uh always use the double colon to uh, to gain access to any symbol within a package so anyway i will see you guys next time this one was a pretty simple one next time we'll get started on turning well next i'm not going to tell you what we're going to do you can guess from what i told you about the packages we're using thank you very much